Hi guys, so today I'm showing you some products I used up and a product I did not like whatsoever. Um, I'm still getting ready for the day, so my hair has not been done yet. But, okay, the first product I used was the Satin Hands by Mary Kay. And I absolutely love this. It works really well. Um, my hands get so dried out in the winter time and this kind of um, really rehydrates them after being out in the cold and everything. I'm not going to repurchase this because I do have a ton of other lotions that I've purchased before. Um, the next item I used was vitamin E and I love it. My skin looks great. I have been hardly sick. I take a good amount of vitamins and um, I don't recommend anything for anybody because I'm not a doctor but I know it works for me and this one helps keep me healthy. Another vitamin is um, a probiotic, and this helps with um, your immune system and your gut. So, yeah, I really liked it. I could definitely tell a difference when I took it and when I didn't take it. So, I will be repurchasing this along with the vitamin E. Another item that I've used up is the Benefit Push-Up Liner. I am obsessed with this liner. I've never tried liquid liner or anything like that until now, and I've already repurchased this. Along the lines of the Benefit products, here's the Benefit, they're real. Um, I am obsessed with this. <laughs> Absolutely love this product, and I've already repurchased it. I love what it does. It doesn't irritate my eyes or anything like that. So, the next product I used was the Big Sexy Powder or Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. Um, I love this. It gives my hair a ton of volume and texture because I have um, thin-ish, thinnish hair. That's pretty fine. Um, and it doesn't, my hair does not have a lot of volume. So, this helped add some volume and give it some extra oomph. So, another product I used was the Milani Brow Shaping Clear Gel. I love this product. The only thing that I don't like about it is that, um, because I use a darker color for my eyebrows or darker powder, it kind of gets on the brush and then it, like, turns it that color inside. That's the only downfall. But, oh, and I have already repurchased the powder play. Or, yeah. Um, another product, this mascara dried out. It was a Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. I love this mascara. It works really well. It gives you, like, a soft, natural-looking eyelashes, which is nice. And it comes in a variety of colors as well, and it's great for sensitive skin. Um, I have really sensitive eyes, and this is one I know I can always go to no matter what. Like, um, yeah. And the last item. I did not use this up. It's the Rimmel um, Scandal Eyes Rocking Curves. I've had great luck with Rimmel before, but this I had horrible luck. This was not great for me whatsoever. Um, I used this for like a week and my eyes looked like they were crying. Like I um, have some longer days at work and by the time I'd get home at 10 30 at night it would look like I'd been out at the bars. Like you know when you've gone out and like fell asleep in your makeup and you woke up the next morning with raccoon eyes and flakiness. Yeah, that is this mascara. My eyes are super sensitive, as I've mentioned, and this did not do anything. This was horrible. Like, it just put color on my eyelashes. Like, there was nothing with it. Like, if I even, like, rubbed my eyes or touched my eyelashes, like, the color, like, black came off on my fingers. It flaked. I, it, that might have been just me because I do have oily eyelids, <laughs> oily eyelids and eyelashes. So, I don't recommend this, and I'm not going to repurchase this whatsoever. But, yeah, those are some products I've used up lately, and some I didn't like.